Love, 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 Laura. She is awesome. <laughs> Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Let's go ahead and get in there. Truth is, you know what tomorrow. Yes, I did listen to her new song. Actually, I listened to it this morning. I did. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome, ladies. Happy Financial Friday. Yeah, I think it is. Yes, I think it is. Um, is Michelle on? Michelle posted it this morning. Her new song is You Say. Why are you say? You say. Good morning, ladies. I'm needing you to move when you don't walk away. 
waters. I wish I could walk through. When you don't get the answers, and I cry out to you, I will trust, I will trust, I will trust in you. When you don't move the mountain, I'm needing you to move. When you don't part the waters, I wish I could walk through. When you don't All right, good morning, good morning. I really wanted you all to hear the words to this song. I remember when I found Laura, um, and it was at a season where I, God wasn't moving, I wanted him to move. And it was so important for me to be reminded that even when he's not that we are praying that he moves, that we still trust the process. We still give him um, the, the space to that we don't even know what's going on on the other end. So good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Friday. It is Financial Friday. It is a the day that the Lord has us and be glad in it. Um, one of the things that I, you know, it's so interesting. God talks to me so early in the morning, which is one of the reasons why the enemy always attacks me so early in the morning. It's because he gives me so many downloads, so, so many downloads. And so if I'm so distracted by the enemy's attacks and his accusations, um, you know, the enemy can accuse you of some stuff. He can't recreate stuff. He can he can accuse you of stuff and hoping and you'll you'll agree with him. And so um, as I was getting up this morning and taking time to just um, think about um, the goodness of the Lord and who he is and and the things that I have seen in my life, the things that I've overcome, it's just kind of one of those things that um, it reminds me that I have to consistently stay in a place where God is showing me the newness of who he is and the new spaces that I'm in, the newness of what it is that is going on. And the first thing that he says, do you trust me? Do you trust me? You know, it's easy to trust God when everything is great. It's easy to trust and say you have faith when, you know, life is looking like you desired it to look. You know, it was easy my first 30 years of walking stuff. Not easy, but it was definitely, um, I didn't have to really trust God. I, I, I was in church, I knew the word, but, you know, every, I had a plan for everything. <laughs> There was a plan and then a plan A and for everything. So real, real of trusting him and believing him and getting daily manna, like daily instructions from him. That was not my life. It just wasn't. My life was, I knew what I needed to do. I had classes. I had school. I had assignments. I had stuff. I did not have to. Um, stand in full trust like I do today. Today, it's daily. I need him every day. And so sometimes we can sing songs, I need you now, I need you daily. And most times when we need him, <clears throat> and then we kind of pray <laughs> other times. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, yeah, it's cool. It's good. Everything is well. But it is something different when you actually need him every single day. When you need him every day to walk out the call on your life, to walk out the prayer healing, to walk out the prayer for increase, the walk to walk out the things that you're experiencing is something different. You know, um, I had an awesome conversation with um, Anitra, the CEO of White Talk, and I said, faith is something different when you don't you you, you gotta rely on Jesus for everything. It's something different when you got to rely on him for everything. And many of us don't really know what that's like because we've always had a job. We've always had someone who can bail us out. We've always had some kind of something that's going on. We always have, um, you know, some someone that's going to be there. 
but it's something about when you have nothing but God and you have to trust in him. And so, you know, I was sitting there and in this scripture, Psalms 51 and 10 says, Lord, a clean heart. And what that means for me is not, you know, there's, we think of clean heart, we think of wickedness. And that's not even what I'm thinking of. I'm saying sweep away my experience, Jesus. Take away my experience, my very experience with you. Create a clean heart and renew your spirit. Take away the times I was defeated or I prayed and I didn't get what I thought. And so now that that prayer that didn't go answered, my God, now I'm judging you, Jesus, based on that prayer. Clean heart, set me free from the old stuff, that very old thinking. And I just was like, man, Jesus, you know, that last time I asked you for a financial increase and I kind of got an increase, but not what I asked you for. And so now when I'm asking for the increase now, looking at it from a different place, I created me a clean, wash all that stuff away. Give me a new and the right spirit, Jesus a new and a right spirit in me. See, sometimes we think it's just the old stuff, the, 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 the evil. You know, when we think of creating me a clean heart, we think of the evil or the bad stuff, you know, that has been done. No, 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 no. I'm talking about those things that worked and I didn't have to rely on Jesus. Those things, like I tell myself, God says, I need you to go and do start this business and you say well I know that I'm able to pay my bills at this job remove what I know so that I can trust you God so that I can trust you so I can believe in you it's interesting because I was sitting there and I was having a conversation with my husband last night and we're walking out some things right now my husband and I and you know, what was interesting is as he was talking to me and he was telling me about his trust and, his, and how he believes and he was telling me about that and, you know, his experience of this thing, I don't have that experience. And so talking to him, encouraging me, says, this is what I know God is. And so I was looking at my experience. And so I quietly, in my inner man, said, God created me a new experience with you. Because experience is clouding my experience. It's new. Created me a clean, renewing me a right spirit. It's the same thing where, where, where you, as a wife, you're sitting there and you're thinking, I'm praying for my husband to get it right, but I prayed for him before and he didn't. And so now my experience is my God. And I'm saying, God, clear out all that. Clear that out of me. Clear it out so I can have the right spirit to do it again today, to believe again today, to trust again today. Not the old experience, not that's my reminder of what you can do. So we can do it with the good and we can do, we can do that and it becomes our God. No, create in me a clean heart. Oh God, renew a right spirit within me so I can receive. We're going to declare the word of financial increase today, but can you get a new spirit about it? Can you see it the way God sees it? Can you believe like God believes it and knows it? 
or is your experience is your experience well I tried that before God and it didn't work I prayed before and they died I prayed and I lost my house I prayed and they still left my experience doesn't show me but I'm going to trust and I'm going to pray that I get a clean heart oh God I'm going to get a clean heart. Clean my heart from the experience. And renew a right spirit, a right belief in me. So I can receive. So I can receive. So that I can receive what I'm believing for now. Many of us can't receive what we're believing for because the spirit of belief is wrong. There's no space for it. We're speaking it, but we're looking at the past. So you pray for increase. You prayed. God, just give me five more clients. And nobody showed up. So now you hesitant to believe for 10 clients because the five didn't show up. Ha. Clear it out. Clear it out, Jesus. And we can do it. So welcome, welcome, welcome into our morning confession. Welcome, ladies. Hello. I just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I just saying, I'm just saying. Oh, God, Jesus. My God. And so I want you all to to, to stand in in, in agreement that we're going to believe God for a new spirit. And we're going to get into it and we're going to declare if this is your first time. Good morning. Welcome. Welcome. Good morning. Every once in a while, I have moments on here. God be speaking to me, and I'm like, Jesus, man, 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 man. Jesus. So we are going to get started. If you are new, please place a one so we can welcome you on Facebook or on Periscope. Either one. Go ahead and place the one. Let me explain the way this works. The way this works is I'll give you the confession and you simply repeat after me. It's that simple, that easy. God is a faithful God. He's a good God. And Laura sung that song. She says, move the mountain when you, I will trust you. Even when you don't move the mountain, I am believing you to move. Even she sung that song. I remember when I found that song because I was really going through it. I was like, man, I'm praying, God, and you not answering. I'm praying and I'm expecting and it's not going. What is it? What's going on? What's happening? And he says, you got to renew. You got to renew your mind in the, with the right spirit. You got to renew. And I can't wait. I'm going to go and do a teaching in a little bit, probably about another 30, 40 minutes on my inner circle if you're not following me in my Trishel's inner circle in um, information page on Facebook you need to get in because I'm I, I'll be the stuff that I can't teach while we're doing confession I'm gonna teach over there just FYI but those of you who want that additional teaching uh, that information I'm gonna give you all of what he has sent to me over there and so after I get off here and I get some coffee <laughs> or some tea okay I've been not doing coffee I'm gonna get some tea I'm going to go over into the trails, Trishel's Inner Circle information page, and I'll be teaching um, what this means, what all of the details, right? So um, if you haven't joined me over there, make sure you do that. I got to wipe my nose, y'all, because a little, you know, I had a moment. Yes, on Facebook, on Facebook. Put in Trishel's Inner Circle info. I think if you just put Trishel, it should come up. So let's get into our financial confession, y'all. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. Um, let's let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, the way this works, for those of you who are new, I'll give you a confession and you repeat after me. We already nine minutes in. That's what happened when Jesus be taking us in and stuff, y'all. I'm just like, man, I'm just now looking at that. All right, let's do it, though. We're going to declare the word. We're going to speak God's word over our lives. And we got financial increase. Let's do it. Repeat after me, ladies. In the name of Jesus, I declare I am in covenant with God. I declare I have the peace of God. Therefore, I am whole, I am complete in every area of my life. I declare 
that there is nothing missing, nothing broken. I declare that I am empowered by God to succeed in everything I put my hands to do. Thank you, Lord. I have a clean heart and a right spirit to allow me to see financial increase. Thank you, Lord, that my family, my business, my children, my job, my, my health, and every relationship that I am connected to, they are all prosperous. Thank you, Lord. I, too, am prosperous. Mind, body, spirit. Thank you, Father, that prosperity is my birthright. I declare and believe that my finances are Father, and that today I expect and shall see financial breakthrough. Thank you, Father, that your word is a light unto my feet and a pathway to success in every area of life. I declare that my finances are set on high and that you, Lord, give me the strength, the clarity, the wisdom, the guidance, and the understanding to receive them. I declare and confess that financial increase is my birthright and I shall have what I say. Thank you, Father, that today I declare I am a money magnet. Money comes to me in increasing quantities through multiple streams, multiple sources, on a continual basis. Thank you, Father, that I can declare that I am out of debt. Every need is met and I have plenty in store to bless your body of believers to be the answer to the need of those who hurt. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare that I have a kingdom paradigm. Thank you, Lord, that my paradigm grants me new ways of thinking and working and living. Thank you, Father, that my kingdom paradigm gives me new cycles of victory, success, and prosperity. Thank you, Lord. My kingdom paradigm allows me to understand that as I tithe and give offerings, that I shall reap a harvest that I must make room to receive. Thank you, Father, that my increase is directly connected to your word and your instructions. I hear them and I follow. Thank you, Father, that my mind is alert. I hear your voice clearly and a voice of a stranger I will never follow. I declare financial increase, breakthrough is mine. I declare your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding will guide me to be financially secure in all that I do. Not in the world system, but in your instructions, Father. I declare that abundance, abundance, is mine. I live, walk, and breathe God's abundance. Abundance of joy, peace, abundance of patience, temperance, goodness, increase, and abundance of money. Thank you, Lord. I receive it now. Financial increase, financial breakthrough, it is mine. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. All right, y'all. We are declaring it is so. We expect nothing less but God's best. We will hear his instructions and we will follow. 
we will not we will not hear instructions and not do what he tells us to do no we won't mm -mm. we will be the money magnet because we are following his instructions so i'm gonna say this and i'm gonna be done if you are believing for increase if you're believing for a breakthrough financially or whatever it is and you are doing the same things you're missing the mark clean out what's in your heart and allow God to renew your spirit to give you instructions to do what is new and necessary so that you can receive the blessing you desire love you ladies we'll be back on Monday for motivational intentional Monday and we are gonna keep it moving I love you all have a blessed awesome rest of your day thank you so much ladies for praying for my sister yesterday I appreciate it again if you need to join into our inner circle the inner circle is um, on Facebook Trishel's inner circle join in I will be um, I'm gonna try daily to give you guys some things that will set you on the course um, that will allow you to see the success and the change that God is believed, knowing that you can have and that you're believing to have. I love you all. Have a great one, and I'll chat with you soon. Bye.